Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Deso, and welcome back to another installment of Deso's Definitions. Today we're going to be talking about the different types of buy rounds you're going to come into contact with in CS. Um, so this video is actually going to be a tie-in to another video that I have coming out soon, but it's just a little bit easier to do this one first and then build upon the concepts in another video. So jumping right into it, first off we have an eco round. So an eco round is usually a full save where either the CT or T side does not have any money to be able to buy anything into this coming round. So the best option is to save it. Normally you save when you have a two to three loss bonus. So what this looks like is that you have $2,000 roughly going into a round like this. And then after the loss bonus and after the round has ended, you go into your next buy round with $4,400 or $4,900. Up next, we have a half buy. A half buy usually can occur when a team has accumulated max loss but cannot go into the next round with a full buy. So the goal here is to spend roughly half or a little bit more of your money and buy yourself pistol and armor, SMG and armor, or a low end rifle and armor just to see what kind of damage you can do to the opposing side um, economy. This round can sometimes also look like three to four players having weapons or even two to three players having weapons and the rest of your teammates having maybe armor, upgraded pistol, and a little bit of utility to set the rifles up. Next, we have a force buy. Now this is as it sounds. This is a round where you spend all of your money in an attempt to win the round. This is usually one of two scenarios that come up. So your first scenario is that you are on a double save, where even if you save this round, you won't have enough to buy next. So it's oftentimes better to spend all your money and try your best shot at winning this round. Oftentimes these rounds do work because you catch off the T's or CT's uh, off guard. And then the second time that you'll see a situation like this is in a round where you understand that the opposing team economy is also low. So this kind of can happen when you're trading um, rounds back and forth with the CT or T side, and you're like, okay, if we win this round, we can reset their economy, but if we lose this round, we're also gonna have our economy set. So it's kind of a gamble where you're going to flip a coin 50-50 and see who wins the round. Next, we have a full buy. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. This is a round where you are fully equipped to play the round coming up. So you have rifles, an op, utility, armor, and diffuse kits. Most of your CS is likely going to be played in full gun rounds. Next, we're going to go into some of the more niche type of buy rounds that you don't really see in pugs, but you'll see more so in um, team-based Counter-Strike. So first up, we have an anti-eco. Now, this round is usually a specific setup run by a team when they know the opposing side will be on an either an eco or really poor half buy. This round usually includes a couple of players on SMGs to be able to farm the ecoing player that in turn makes their economy better. Up next we have a bonus round. So this round is often the third round of a half. This round occurs when a side has successfully won out the pistol along with the subsequent force or eco round done by the opposing side where you keep, and this is very important, majority of your players alive. What this means is that going into the first official buy round, you will have a couple of players on your team with SMGs and your economy will be in a place where that if you win the round, it actually boosts you guys up like crazy because it'll kind of reset the opposing side. But at the same time, if you lose a bonus round, there's no real harm in it because you should have enough money to be able to rebuy with a full buy round at the next round. Lastly, we have a hero buy or a hero round. This round is pretty situational and can happen at any point during the game. Now, oftentimes you will see this when teams have a really massive economy advantage and the team that's going to hero buy has the goal in mind to just try to kill a couple players, force out utility, and just make them start spending a little bit more money so it's a little bit more manageable down the line. Maybe you can break the eco if you do enough damage, like several rounds down. This round is more so about individual kills. Um, hopefully you're getting around two to three just to kind of force the rebuying of uh, armor guns, utility, etc. So this usually occurs off of a single player either forcing a rifle or if you e-code or say you forced, or sorry, you had a full buy and you have one person that saved a rifle. So it's called a hero buy because you are oftentimes going to be the only person in the round that has a rifle on that side. And then your job is to essentially make sure that the pistols are baiting for you so that you're able to trade out effectively and try to do as much damage as possible. 
So I hope this video helped you guys understand the different types of buy rounds you guys are going to come into contact with when you play CS. I hope this made a little bit of sense. Let me know down in the comment section below and keep a lookout for the economy video that I'll have coming up in a couple of days. That one will go into a ton more depth than this one. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you're not already and on my Twitch if you want to see me fuck around and find out and NA face it. But uh, anyways, I'll catch you guys on stream. Peace.